see, you know what the problem is? <laughs> First of all, I'm amused by all these people behind the keyboard from all over the world that just talk so much shit. For me personally, it's funny. It doesn't offend me. But the problem is kids and other human beings are committing suicide because of cyberbullying and, and, and things such as this. The more well-known I get, the more people from all over the world have, have, have you know, they, they have time to chime in on my... Uh, on my posts and talk their shit, which is fine because it's me. I'm a grown man. I, I could uh, I could accept any kind of uh, <laughs> any kind of harsh words people say to me. But the problem is not everyone could take that. You know, not everyone could 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 take those those harsh words. And and many times people, you know, we we've seen it before. How many kids are killing themselves? And my last my my one post about you know cracking the head of a a human being that that calls my daughter like a bitch or the c word i stand by that why is it okay to talk to women this way why is that okay and surely my daughter will not disrespect anybody because she's taught the correct way but it's just crazy that so many people are trying to justify calling a woman a bitch or the c word you know what that shows me that shows me that you people are calling your women these words you're calling your daughter these words and you wonder why your women are cheating on you you wonder while you're getting left you have to respect human beings you know you have to respect women you have to respect men as well and you have to understand there's consequence and, and you know i've had some people say oh yeah you, you you crack my head if i call your daughter a bitch and i'll crack your head well you you're welcome to come and try to crack my head you're welcome to come and try to kill me 336 lacy road fork and river new jersey that's my school you know i i don't i don't bow down to no man i don't walk away or, or back up from anybody, you know, if, if you're a bully, if you're a, if you're a bad person, uh, by all means, I, I stand by my words and, and, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm, it, it is what it is, but I mean, geez, we have to, we have to be kind, right? And if you're not kind and if you're very mean to somebody, you have to understand that there can be consequence, you know, like that little girl that you're picking on or that little boy that you're picking on, they may have a big brother or a father that doesn't, that doesn't like that. You know, so then if you're picked on, you know, if someone handles you, I mean, come on, it's just consequence. You know, like my kids are, are taught to respect everyone. They're brought up to respect everyone. I want them to be respectful. I want them to be kind. And if they were ever bullies, man, they would be in so much trouble, so much trouble. You know, like I couldn't even imagine them being bullies just because they understand the consequence of bullying, which is causing other children to be depressed, causing other children to to take their own lives. How could we be okay with our children being bullies? But like more so, how could we have so many men out there just like saying, oh, if I want to call a woman a bitch, I should be able to. Why should you be able to call a woman a bitch? What's wrong with you? What has your mother taught you? What has your father taught you? What's wrong with you? But then you complain when your wife cheats on you. She, she should cheat on you because you're, you're a coward. You know, so again, I have sometimes, you know, I, like, like I said, I don't care when people attack me. It's pretty, it's, it's funny to me. I, I, <laughs> I laugh at most of this shit, but then when I go back at people, everybody says, oh, professor, you're supposed to be above that. Why should I be above defending myself? Right. I'm just defending myself. I'm defending the people that I love. So understand this, like I want to love everyone. I want everyone to get along. I want everyone to be kind, but by all means, you know, I, I never was one, you know, we look at the Walmart video when, I, when, when I diffused that situation with that guy, right? He was an older guy. He was a smaller guy. He aggressed me personally. When you aggress me personally, most of the time it's not that big of a deal because it's like whatever, you know, and, and he wasn't in the position to where I needed to defend myself. Like he was, he was much smaller than me. But if that guy, you know, were like a younger guy, 230 pounds, muscle bound, maybe that situation would have went differently. You know, like just because we saw that Walmart video with me and everybody says, oh, you know, Tom did the right thing. I believe in that situation I did the right thing. But I also think the right thing sometimes is cracking someone's head. I believe the right thing sometimes is cracking someone's head, right? And why shouldn't it be if the person attacks you? I mean, geez, Louise, where is the consequence, you know? So that being said, all my uh, my keyboard warriors around the world, uh, 
you know, I get support from everybody around the world, and I'm so appreciative for it. But by all means, man, you know, like, make sure if you ever see me face to face, you're not, you don't turn into a fan. Like, if you don't like me, when you see me face to face, tell me exactly how you feel. We'll have a very, very man to man conversation. We'll have a talk. And uh, I want to, I want you to express yourself and tell me how much you don't like me because I have a feeling sometimes people have talked bad behind my back, but then when I see them face to face, Hey Tom, how are you? I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Listen, I don't want you as a fan. If, 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 if you're not real, you know, I don't want you as a friend. If you're not real, anything I have to say behind your back, I'm going to say to your face, whether you like it or not, I'm going to say it to you 99% of the time. I have nice things to say about people. Because I really don't have problems with anybody. I have problems with guys coming on my posts. Like some guys were like calling my daughter a bitch and stuff. It's like, man, my daughter is six years old. What's wrong with you? You know? Do you understand what would happen to you if uh, <laughs> if, if you if you said this face to face to me? <laughs> oh, but Tom, violence isn't the answer. Shut up. Shut your mouth if you want to say that. Calling a six-year-old bitch is not the answer. How about that? You know? So... It is what it is, man. I'm me. Take it or leave it. I love you guys. I have so much love for all of you, uh, except for those who, uh, you know, want to talk a lot without no action, without backing it up. But regardless, uh, my daughter, hey, Isabel. But regardless, uh, most of the people who talk, you don't even have a profile picture. It's it's very it's very odd. You wanna you wanna say hi? No. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, Jay said, how can no one like, I mean, some people don't, people don't have to like me, you know what I mean? It's okay. Everybody can have their own opinion. You know, it's okay not to, not to like everybody. Uh, it's just, you know, even the people that, I, that I don't like, I'm fairly respectful to, you know, unless they give me a reason not to be respectful, which most people don't give me a reason not to be respectful. You know what I mean? Here's the thing. I just believe in being nice to people, but I also believe that if you're a bully, like, like, if I saw someone on the street viciously beating another human that couldn't defend herself for no reason, and they were just bullying this person, I would most likely aggress this human being. I wouldn't just break up the fight. I'd most likely, I'd, 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 I'd probably knock the shit out of the person who is unrightfully beating the shit out of a helpless human being. You know, I don't believe... In not bullying bullies, but that makes you a bully. That makes you a bully. Sure, maybe the bully of bullies. You know what I mean? Uh, but it's it's a shame, man. I I see what people go through when they're bullied. I I, I, I see, you know, the suffering that they go through, and uh, it just hurts my heart, man, to know that so many people are 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 going through these these times. And you know, the whole thing with disrespecting women, like, man, listen. Throughout my years, I've had a few ex-girlfriends like punch me in my face, uh, and it's not right. It's not right by any means. A woman shouldn't put their hand on a man. But you know what my reaction was? I looked at them and I held their hands, and I didn't allow them to hit me anymore. Or I mean, I maybe like one or two times I ran away, you know. But I didn't once think to like put my hands back on a woman. I didn't once think to like call her like vicious names. Like that's just not in me, you know. Like if someone is much smaller physically and and uh i i just don't find comfort in uh or, or pleasure rather sorry i don't find pleasure in belittling another person that is not you know physically capable of defending themselves you know it's just for me it's just rocky you know bro <laughs> you know it, it's just uh it's just not me, you know. That being said, my daughter is going to be taught never to put her hands on a man. You know, it's not okay to put your hands on a man. Uh, you know, but it's just, just, just the way I think. You know, that being that. Uh, but listen, I, I, I hope everyone is having a good day. And uh, if you don't like me and you're watching this, I hope you came on here and you told me you don't like me. I hope you actually said it rather than just watch from a, from afar, from a distance. Uh, fitness DVD. Uh, Easy Fitness DVD is going to be out probably in like a month or two. Man, it's going to change your life, I promise you, 100%. And I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. My life is too good not to be happy. I'm a very, very thankful man. I'm, I'm very blessed. I'm very thankful. 
And uh, I'll be in Finland very soon. Jamie, I love you, bro. I love you, Jamie Cruz, my man. Uh, I'll be in Finland next week. I uh, can't wait to see all my, my, my friends and, and fans in, uh, in, in, in Finland. It's going to be a great time. And uh, Tango, 100%, bro. We made memories that night. I fought David. I had a war, man. David came from the Republic of Georgia. We went to war. You know, and after I fought David, I won a very, very tough decision. His instructor gave me his dog tags. You know, he was in the Special Forces in the Republic of Georgia. Gave me his dog tags off his neck. Memory, I'll never forget. It made me cry. It literally made me cry. I, I cried after this fight because I was so emotional. Because even though I won, I felt sad that David had to lose. Right? David, I would definitely try to kick your ass again if we ever fought. But it just made me upset, you know. Uh, so I hope everyone has a great day. I got to go. Uh, man, sometimes I look at myself and it's like some of you guys hate me because I'm so good looking. That's what it is. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful day. Have a good one. Bye-bye.